happy Tuesday and welcome to another episode of Table Talk Tuesday. Wow, can you believe first week of August already? That's craziness, right? Um, today we're going to be talking about some yarn. I know, that just looks like a plain envelope, right? Well, it's not. It's, um, if you remember, I don't know, maybe almost three weeks ago now, Lion Brand was doing their mystery yarn packs for $19.99. I have no idea if they're still available. I think they're all sold out by now. Um, I went ahead and purchased one just because I have seen what other YouTubers were getting in these yarn hauls. I was like, hmm, that is actually yarn I could use. I wonder if I'm going to get something similar. So I went ahead and purchased one. It took a little bit of time for shipping because there was such a high demand for these. I mean, people were buying them in multiples, one, two, three. I didn't want to buy more than one just because I noticed people were getting duplicates of the yarn and one's enough for me. I, I already don't have a whole lot of room to store yarn. So anyways, I see green right when I open the top here. So let's get into this and see what it is. Okay. Yep. This is what I was seeing on other channels. So this is the Shit's Creek yarn. And I have wanted to try this. I have wanted to try this for some time. I never purchased it because of the cost. I never felt like it was worth what I was seeing it for, which was upwards of seven to nine dollars a skein, depending on where you purchased it from. Um, and this is in the colorway Cafe Tropical. These are seven ounce skeins, 372 yards. I'm trying to read this through the packaging. I don't want to open the package because these are nice factory sealed packs. Um, they are a medium four. They recommend a five millimeter knitting needle and a five millimeter crochet hook. Uh, machine wash gentle and tumble dry low. And I think I said it's 100% acrylic. So there's three right here. So this right here would almost make it worth it for um, this pack. And then we have three more Schitt's Creek yarn. So that's a total of six. Those will be perfect. And then this right here, I'm, I'm so happy. I have been seeing these are, um, I heard this one's going to go out of, they're discontinuing this one. This is the Lion Brand Pound of Love in the color Straw. And I love these Pound of Loves. These are so handy, especially if you're like me and you love to crochet blankets. Um, so this is 100% premium acrylic, machine wash and dryable. It is a medium four. It recommends a five millimeter knitting needle and a six millimeter crochet hook. Uh, this is, how big is this skein? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to read through the bag because I don't want to, I don't want to open it. Okay, well, I'm, I'm sure everybody's pretty familiar with the Pound of Loves. Alright, so that's what the mystery pack was from the Lion Brand. Now, what I was seeing on other channels was people were getting a three pack of this, one Pound of Love, and then instead of another three pack of the Schitt's Creek yarn, they were getting Big Bird yarn. That really fluffy, weird stuff. I am so thankful I did not get that because I'll tell you what, friends. That stuff would have gone to donation really quick. I, I don't like working with the fluffy, feathery, whatever yarns. Um, that actually makes me really happy because that will be good for when we do the little wreath ornaments that I told you about for Thrifty Thursday. Um... That's coming up probably in September. So those will be nice for that. Um, 
but before I break into those, I'm going to use the green that I have on hand because like, like I said, that's all nice and factory sealed. So, yeah. So, I mean, there's not a whole lot going on right now. I'm just, I'm crocheting on the same projects I've been crocheting on. Um, I'm getting ready to break out my box of all my little itty bitty skeins of yarn. Um, I have a whole bunch of them in there, like a whole tote full. I'm going to need those because I don't like taking big skeins of yarn with me on the road. So I'm going to be getting rid of, or getting ready to go into that box here soon and get a whole bunch of those out and start working on granny squares and just something simple. I want to crochet on the road, but I don't, it's too hard to take a blanket and that's what I crochet. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing for that. I'm working on more ideas for, uh, not just Table Talk Tuesdays, but also for Thrifty Thursdays. I've got so many ideas going on up here. I just need to execute them, maybe put them down on paper, write some plans down, um, that kind of thing. So, yeah, uh, on the garage front, we are just about done clearing out the one garage. I will hopefully be able to park my car park my car in the garage. I almost said park my garage in the car. Well, I'm telling you, this is what happens when you get closer and closer to vacation. My brain just goes in vacation mode. <laughs> so anyways, we are closer to that. So that should be done hopefully by the time we leave in a couple of weeks. Um, yeah. So that is just about done. And while I have found some serious treasures in their fronts in the garage while cleaning stuff I forgot I had, um, I had a whole bag of Scentsy wax melts that I was going to donate and I forgot all about them. And I had a Scentsy warmer in there too. And thankfully this was not one that I paid full price for. It was just a used one, but it was a plug-in one. And forgot all about it and I found the bag the other night and everything was melted. It was melted all over the sunsy warmer and everything so to the trash it went. It was it was an ugly hot mess. So we found some nasty big spiders down there probably like that. I mean they just come running out of stuff. Nope that hasn't been fun either. Um, yeah, wow, I feel like I just have nothing to talk about today, friends. What have you all been up to? Tell me in the comments. Tell me in the comments what you guys are doing for the end of summer, hurrah, before school starts. Um, maybe you don't have kids in school, but, you know, maybe you're on a little summer vacation from work or something like that. So tell me in the comments below what have you been doing this summer and what have you been working on, crafting on? That kind of thing. Have you done any ambitious cleaning projects like me where you give yourself a couple of weeks to convert two garages into one? It can be done. I have thrown so much away. I have donated so much. It feels good to just purge and purge and purge. So, yeah. Yeah, but anyways, friends, I'm sorry. This is a short video today. I just... I don't know, I feel like life has been boring lately. I've just been cleaning and purging and getting rid of and getting ready for the new school year. Uh, we start end of August. So we are going to enjoy these last couple of weeks of summer vacation. And I don't know what else we're going to do, but... Anyways, friends, um, I'm going to close this video out because I just, I don't want to sit here and go, um, 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 um. <laughs> and bore you all the tears. So I think with that, I'm going to just, I'm going to jump off of here. I might start pulling my box of yarn out. I don't really need it right yet, but I don't know what else to do today. I'm just working on laundry. So much laundry. <laughs> it's got to be done though, right? Yeah. So anyways, friends, remember to be kind, be blessed. God loves you. I love you. And I will see you in the next video for Whip It Wednesday. Bye, friends.